morning everyone it's finally Friday which is a good thing because I am tired it's 3:20, and I'm on my way to work it's gonna be another really long busy day and it's gonna be hot so <laughs> I'm not sure what sort of jobs I'm gonna get today it'll probably be pretty standard stuff but man I'm just ready for this week to be over so I'm gonna get to work I'll see you guys at the yard so I got a look at the schedule and it's really busy <sighs> I'm worn out man I'm really glad it's Friday line up that giant beam back there about six inches from my ladder and that's my left right and then my front back is this bar coming up I get even with it plus about a foot and then back even with it Boom, right there. all right load number one up with 10 yards now I'm gonna get back here and rinse the where is my mark oh there it is rinse the truck down uh, just all the get all the powder and dirt off it and make sure our concretes at the right slump and then off we go to a new construction over here it's probably 10 or 15 minutes away it's not too bad we are the first truck of two so it's 19 yards total for the for the job the sun's finally coming up Ugh, it's 437 we're gonna be busy today so I'll check in with you guys when we get to the job site. Okay, we are heading back to the yard. It was too dark for the GoPro at this job. It was just a driveway, um, nothing crazy, but there just wasn't enough light for the GoPro to pick anything up. So we'll just call this first job a wash, but the sun's up now at 6.15. So we should be good for the rest of the day. So I'm just going to head back to the yard right now. I'm going to try to get back as quick as I can because uh, I know we're really busy. And Fridays are notoriously busy anyway. I think all the finishers and contractors really want to get that last project done for the week. So I'll head back and we'll grab another load and uh, try this again. now with our second load it's seven yards of 14 so 
so two trucks. And, uh, and we're the first truck. So it's interior mud and they ordered it at a five inch slump. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a, well, what you call it, a garage. But this is a new development over here. There's lots of construction going on. So it should be easy to find, find the job site. We'll just look for the concrete guys. They're pretty easy to spot. us again. Alright. talking to the other guy and he's saying if I get up over that curb when I come down on the other side it's gonna push me too far and that has happened before Good morning Good morning you guys been waiting long <laughs> Only an hour. seriously Oh. Better than yesterday. Man, yeah. Got water yesterday. Really? Man, yeah, I'm sorry. Man. Like four in the what time? The walk time? Like 3 30? That's all time from the freeway. Yeah. Yeah, it's early. Yeah, Amazon. You want to pour it pretty wet? About seven? Yeah. More water? Okay. Yeah. dump it out we dumped out maybe three yards uh, there at first just to get we blow it back as far as we can because the shoots won't reach so we blow it out as much as we can and then they they rake it back but uh, we can reach all this stuff so we'll tailgate the rest of this side. Then there's another side too. There's two garages on this house. So I'm assuming that uh, it's gonna be about seven yards per side, so. I'm getting down to the last little bit. You can hear the rocks rattling around in the drum. Usually when it starts rattling, I got about two yards left. gonna send me over to the other side and we'll just dump out whatever we got left so I'm gonna shoot what I got left I don't know, they're talking. Yeah, okay.
<laughs> yeah, I had like a wheelbarrow, maybe. <laughs> He's chuckling like, why do we even bother? Okay, we're out of the driveway. I'm just gonna wash out right here. He said to. I might go somewhere else, but he told me to do that, so that's fine. I just didn't want to be in the in the way of the other truck because he'll be here soon. So we should have time to wash out without being in the way of the other truck. Just in time. Wine country, man. Vineyards, as far as the eye can see. How come there's not a Scotch country? I live there. Oh, I guess it's Scotland, huh? Never mind. Looks like we got just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna refill my acid wash. But putting it in a bottle like this is great because if you only have a couple of minutes, you can just spray everything down real quick and it gets a lot of this, uh, like this grimy stuff. Like that. Like all this. It gets all that stuff off without scrubbing. So that if I do have a, just a couple of minutes, I can spray it down real quick. Yeah, all those spots, this will take that right off. It won't take off the concrete, but it'll take off all the, like the residue, like the grimy, I don't even know what you call it, but it'll take that off. See how much better that is? Look at that. Oh yeah. Like it's gonna be our turn. I'm gonna finish my hamburger. <clears throat> oh, I almost choked. So we're getting close to the job site. We brought seven and a half yards um, for 14 total. 15 total so we're the second truck and we're going up to this uh, up this hill to an area that has a lot of uh, a lot of pretty good sized lots for sale so it'll be it'll be a custom home of some kind and it looks like it's interior mud again so it's either a foundation or maybe a slab for a a steel building like a, a shop or something or a garage so we'll get up this hill a ways and see what we're working with oh, I see it you probably can't see that it's pretty far away but I can see uh, looks like a block house like they're building it out of blocks and I can see the top of a mixer poking up 
cool. Man, that's got to be a nice view from up there, too. choice anyway <laughs> it looks like they just filled in a couple of walls and the rest of it's a slab so I'll get out of his way so he can sneak past me and we'll just wait for them to be done that is a nice view though hmm See what he's pouring. Yeah, that's really wet. That's like a seven. Feels the other truck's done, so we'll get back and looks like they just got a little bit of a slab left. Unless they got something else hiding that I don't see. I don't know. Roll some out and see what they think. you want? Seven and a half? Ten? Okay. I don't know how fast he wants it. More water? Yep, more water. Ten more. All right, now we're going. I rolled a little out, and you like the way it looked. They're pouring it pretty wet. We got pretty close to the end, and then he cut me off, locked the chute. So they're going to screed next. I think I saw a power screed, like a gas powered one. So it's just him screeding. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes. So we're just going to have to sit here for a while. Yeah, they needed just a smidge more to finish off that slab and he pointed over at these walls so I guess we didn't dodge that bullet after all come on girl there we go forgot to put it in drive jeez what do you know? your place yeah. this is nice up here man 
You can see the whole city, the whole valley. Yeah, I, mean, I got this buddy and my dad's up there. Oh, cool. With the containers? Yeah. Nice. You want me to wash out down there? Yeah. Okay. It is 11.30 and it looks like we're still going strong. So this will be load number four. We got nine yards this time and we're going back to the same city we were just in up on that hill, except this time we're down in the valley. It's 29 yards at a four inch slump and usually a four means, especially with that many yards, uh, foundation the footing and then the walls so hopefully there'll be a pump it's just easier should be coming up to the job site here pretty soon I thought it was oh yep there it is okay I was gonna say I thought it was right here but I don't see any pump and then I saw it so never mind I had been out here before. This is a spanking new development. I think there's 250 lots maybe. But uh, there's only a couple houses. Uh-oh. Did I turn too soon? Oh no, we're good. Now we gotta get over this curb and then uh, Wait for somebody to finish pouring. I think the guy on the left is gonna be done first. So I'll put my chute over to the other side so it's easier. They interrupted hamburger o'clock. But it's my turn to get back. And then he'll tell me when to stop. Like that. Hey! hey. Wolf? Like a 6 7? Oh, yeah, okay. Raul, where are your boots at? Huh? Where are your boots at? You guys can make it both to make it sloppy eight. into the yard at almost two o'clock and I don't know what's going on there's two trucks oh okay Oscar does uh, he does body work on cars and a couple of the trucks have jacked up fenders so he's actually fixing them like fiberglass and everything that's pretty cool he can do that. Yeah, if I had to guess, I'd say we're done. There's two junior drivers' trucks just sitting there turned off. It looks like they're waiting for possible cleanups. I got about two yards left over, maybe. Yard and a half from that last job. I'm going to dump it out 
and then I'll get a rinse. I'll go talk to the office and see what we're doing. Are we done? Oh, all right. <laughs> I swear I like this job. I've been talking <laughs> all day. I feel like I've been talking about, oh, I wonder what time we're gonna get off. I wonder if we're done yet. I like this job. This is a great job and a great company. But we've been working a lot of hours this week and I just want to be done. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So get off my case. Anyway, Raul said we're done. He gave me the, uh, we're done. I just got the official washout from the office. So today we had about uh, 10 hours, almost 11. We had four loads and that's it for me today. I will see you guys tomorrow.